I'm going to be talking about how to automatically generate um, a CLI for your gRPC um, APIs. Um, this was a project that I, I started um, and I've been doing it in my spare time and um, it seems to be really cool. Um, the links and the problem, the task that um, we're going to be doing is we're going to be integrating with the billing CTL proto in Google APIs. So this is just a, um, for people who have used protos before, um, we have a service definition, we have some methods, um, and we've got some types. And so um, all the information that we need to interact with the, this API is right here. Um, and the, to begin with, um, we want to just quickly um, use this. This is just getting some um, authentication um, tokens from the G Cloud API, because that's uh, what, what we're going to be integrating with. And the tool um, billing CTL is an example um, using the library that um, I wrote. Um, so we can go cloud catalog list services. We can see it's all got autocomplete. Um, we can go uh, page size 20, for example. We can add an um, uh, authorization header in there. So we can go authorization uh, there. Were, and then auth, and there we go. So we've got, we've just called a gRPC API. Um, and so now I'm gonna go through how that happened. Um, the basic problem um, which the, my library is trying to solve is um, when you start getting a lot of uh, teams with proto uh, gRPC APIs, you start having like a whole repo that looks like this. You have a lot of proto files or maybe they're across um, different repositories, um, but you need people to be able to call it um, easily. Uh, the first solution that comes up is using um, GRP curl. But the problem with using GRP curl, for those people that don't know, it's just like curl um, and you can call a gRPC API. Um, you can specify the address, um, but you need to know all this information. So you need to have a, a piece of documentation side by side or run some commands on the side. Um, and you can add your authorization headers and then all of your information. Um, so it's difficult to write because you need to know what you're actually integrating with um, or what you're calling. Um, and it's a lot to remember. So a better solution to this is using uh, a CLI um, a library like Cobra. Um, and how this would work in an organization is that every team would have their own command that they're responsible for managing. So this makes it easier to interact because you can have things like autocomplete and stuff, but um, it also means that it's difficult to maintain because and every team might have different implementations for their APIs. And so this is where gRPC TL comes in. Um, what it does is it takes the um, file descriptors uh, that you see in the generated code. And if we look at this, this is a piece of generated code that uh, the Google gRPC code generator generates. Um, and it generates this uh, proto reflect.file descriptor file. Um, and what this does is, what this library does is it takes all the information within that to generate a, a CLI tool that you can use on your, um, on your service. Um, and so that's this, uh, the string of bytes here, and it has all the information that you need. So if we see a service descriptor, um, these are things that are sort of contained within a file descriptor, a service descriptor um, that describes what the, the service is, um, a method, and that gets generated to uh, the first level um, command within um, the generated CLI. Um, and the, met the method descriptor, um, which um, in our proto file uh, looks like this, so get billing account, for example, um, and um, that gets generated to, to the second level. Um, and then the message descriptor gets um, uh, generated to uh, the, the flags. So if we can see there, um, I said page size 20, um, that has, um, uh, yeah, so that's all generated and it's really easy to integrate with our CLI tool now. Um, and then what you get is a CLI tool that um, was really easy to write. We can see that it was only a couple of lines of code. Um, it's customizable. Um, and 
um, it can automatically pick up extra information from the profile. And one of the things that you might be wondering is like, how does this know where to send the actual request? Um, on the Google APIs, um, there's this annotation, which is Google API default hosts, and that is set to cloudbilling.googleapis.com. And so if we actually go to billing CTL and go help, um, the package has actually um, picked up that piece of information and put it into the uh, uh, default of the, um, the address string to um, cloudbilling.googleapis.com. Um, so um, you don't need to specify like where any of that config would be. Um, yeah. Um, and as a bonus, um, there is also a gRPC reflection. Um, so if um, the if your gRPC service has reflection enabled, you can dynamically uh, uh, sort of call it. So gRPC TL, I can go address equals localhost 8081, plain text equals true. Uh, click tab. When I click press tab, um, it does this the server reflection call, gets all of the proto file descriptors like I was talking about before, but it gets that directly from the um, API, from the service, um, and then generates all of the things that we need to be able to call it. And um, you cannot know um, what this, you can only know the address and it'll be really easy for you to integrate um, as, as compared to something like uh, proto uh, GRP curl. Um, and so, yeah, that's the link. Um, there's a go for Slack, no one's used it. And if you wanna see these, these slides, uh, that's the link there. Um, cool, thanks.